Hi everyone! At this time, we've created the PNL statement for each hospital and placed it as a tooltip on the map. But there is a small problem. We have more than 400 of hospitals, and when we are hovering over this or that hospital, we can't see the details such as name, address, country, zip code, owner, cell, and so on. We need to start with that. This will simplify the usability of our dashboard. So this will be the topic of our today's tutorial. This playlist is about how you can build PNL statement dashboard from scratch for a healthcare business. Let's assume we have a network of hospitals and we need to build a consolidated profit and loss statement for each of these hospitals separately and for all of them gathered in one income statement. All our data is imaginary. All files that I used here are public and I also changed the names and values in PNL rows. So what are the assumptions? First one, you are a business owner. Second, you need to create the reporting environment that will show you the structure of the revenues and expenses of your business by specific criteria. For example, office location, country, city, zip code, region, profit center, manager, or anything else. Three, every week or month, you have to upload a new portion of the revenues and expenses transactions to the reporting environment to be able to see the trends for your business. Four, you don't have financial analyst or SQL engineer or data architect in your team. And final fifth assumption, you have just basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel. If all of that is about you, this video and playlist and the whole channel is for you. You will find lots of interesting and useful things here. Hit that subscribe button. My name is Peter Pakulski and welcome to our channel. This channel is for the business owners who want to know more about their business. Here we will be building interactive reporting environment from scratch. I will be making different assumptions while building our dashboard and then we will bring them to life together. All the tutorial links are placed down below in the description. Dataset you will be able to find in the description as well. Links on other tutorials are placed in the description also. If you find value in my content, kindly remember to tap the like button and subscribe. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. You can also order building Excel decision making tools for your business. Power BI dashboards and other financial models. First of all, let's go to the income statement tooltip tab and increase its size because we will need more space for the details. We can also increase the font size of a PL statement to make it look more readable when it appears as a tooltip. Let's create three shapes. First one is title. Second will contain main information about this specific hospital. And the third one, there we will place the address.
Top line will be the hospital parameters. Fill will be white and transparency we will set up to 100. Text will be hospital parameters. We can use selection parameters to put this element up front. Here we can name our elements and place them on the top of each other or below, the way we need. Now let's set the name element. It will represent hospital's name. For that, we will write a very simple dex measure using selected value function. We will name it name measure. We are starting with the word name. Then we are adding ampersand symbol and adding selected value function. Inside selected value function we need to pick the union data table and as a column we will be using facility name. Union data table is the main raw data table inside our model. Closing brackets and pressing enter. Here 
Here is the main raw data table, where all the consolidated revenues and expenses live. Now let's create the shape for the hospital name. In style, we will set our transparency to 100, border will be off. Moving to text, let's switch it on. Font will be white. For the text itself, we need to press this FX button. In format style, we will choose field value. In this menu, we need to find and select name measure that we've just created. It's time to click OK. Now, if we go back to the main tab and hover over this or that hospital, we will be able to see its name. As you can see, it is very convenient.
Now let's create the measure for the other parameters that we need. Owner Organization Phone CEO Address We also need a measure for the state name. County Zip Code
серии. Now let's assign these measures to the shapes, same actions that we were doing before. Owner Organization Phone CEO Address State County Zero 
zip code city Now we've created all the measures for the parameters that we need. And now we can hover over these hospitals on the map and see the details for the hospital that we are currently looking at. I think it is very convenient. If you find value in my content, can't you remember to tap the like button and subscribe. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. You can also order building Excel decision making tools for your business, Power BI dashboards and other financial models. Thanks for watching, see you next tutorials and follow us for more.